Let's talk about the nest, baby. Let's talk about the nest, baby. Do you guys actually hate it when it's called the nest? I really do too. I just prefer NES. It just sounds so much better. So I don't even know why I just sang about nests right there. Ugh. As you've seen from the title of this video, is the Nintendo Entertainment System the best gaming console ever? Even though I love my 64, I'm gonna say it right now. The NES? the best gaming system of all time. So I'm gonna give you some reasons on why I think the NES is the best gaming system of all time. Whether you agree or dis with me, that's all right, man. You know worries, I'm a, I'm a big boy, I can take it. So here's my argument onto why I think the NES is the best gaming console of all time. If you look about the number of games that were released for it, God, what, what does it retail? 696, what does it non-retail? Like 800, like, wow, that is, that's, that's intense. Now, if you think about how many good games there are for that system, and you just kind of sit down, like a mental checklist right now of how many good games are okay. So, three Marios, great. The two Zeldas, great. Contra, great. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, great. Even like lower titles like Arkanoid is great. I think Rygar is pretty enjoyable. Bart vs. the Space Mutants, you might not like it, but I really enjoy it. What is that? Right off the top of my head, eight? And I'm pretty sure we can all keep going. And, not to mention, it introduced a lot of those legendary franchises, like Zeldas, like the Kirbys. Like, those games were introduced right there. You can argue, I guess, Mario's introduction might have been in, like, the Mario Brothers Arcade, or even Donkey Kong, or maybe even before then. So I'm not gonna rope Mario in with the NES. I can say that he gained his prominence with uh, Donkey Kong, like, classics, Mario Brothers, and especially Super Mario Brothers on that system. Mario gained his prominence but a lot of popular franchises in gaming today, I know a lot of you are playing Breath of the Wild. You can thank the NES for introducing Zelda to you. You can just thank it right now. Another cool reason about the NES is it's the console that a lot of people can fondly remember. If you go like yard sale and go into a thrift store and you ask the person at the counter, hey, do you have any old video games? It's like, what, like Nintendo? And at that time, you know, they're saying like Nintendo. They're not saying it as the company. They're saying like Nintendo as in what, like the NES? because that's probably the system they grew up in. That's probably the system that made the impact in their mind. I'm sure nowadays they might be like, ah, Xbox, PlayStation, they'll know what it is, but their default answer might be Nintendo. And that's kind of cool to see that the impact that the NES might have had on people from my generation and maybe before that, because when a lot of people look back at the NES, it's just a system they fondly remember. I hear a lot of people, even when I'm at work, uh, they'll see like, I have a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out button. They'll be like, I played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I played Kirby. I really enjoyed Double Dragon, like they'll talk about old school games like that and I'm just right into it, I'm like, yeah, those games are amazing, I really enjoy that. And more often than not, when I talk with people who might not be as hardcore as a gamer as you and I, when I talk to them about gaming, a lot of stuff they'll default to is the NES because it's probably the first system they grew up with. And they have a, like more than, I'd say, at least a couple fond memories of playing that system. And it's really cool to see that a lot of people in this world have fond memories of the NES. Think of the NES Classic Edition for a second, okay? I want you to just think about it. Don't think about how it was understocked or how Nintendo limited their supply, but just think about the hype around it. Think about how many people wanted an NES Classic Edition. Not just you and me, but a lot of other people, a lot of parents wanted it, a lot of even grandparents wanted it. Uh, maybe some of your relatives wanted to get it just because they wanted to experience that feeling of playing the classic games like the Marios, like the Zeldas, like even Balloon Fight, some of the black box games on there, Tecmo Bowl. They wanted to experience the classic games that they grew up with and now they have that chance with the NES Mini. And one of the cool things that I really enjoy about the NES Mini is that it's a modern, it's a modern piece of technology that it connects to HDMI, so it connects to a lot of newer TVs, but the best thing about it is that you can basically, if you don't have an NES and you have this system, you can share uh, the games that you grew up with, with like siblings or with like new cousins and new family members. It's like, hey, you want a genuinely fun game to play? Here's Super Mario Brothers 3. Like, this is what I grew up with. This is, this is how I got into gaming. Go to town, have fun, enjoy the game. And that is really cool to see that the NES Classic Mini or the NES Mini is getting a whole new generation of players into retro gaming and seeing them enjoy the retro games I just put the smile on my face man when I come to the store like when I come to work and kids are like I just played Mario 2 for the first time and I'm like oh did you really enjoy it they're like I really liked Mario 3 more but Mario 2 was fun and I'm like I, I had the same kind of feeling I mean I really love Mario 2 now but it's like I had the same kind of feeling and it's really cool to see teenagers which is kind of nuts to think about they were born after the year 2000, I feel really old all of a sudden. 
But to see people born past like the year 2000, well over 10, 15 years after the, the NES was stopped being produced, enjoying NES games, it's really cool to see that as a gamer. Those are just some of my reasons, man. You can't, you cannot argue the impact that the NES and Nintendo have had on gaming as a whole. Everything you see in gaming nowadays, it wouldn't have happened without Atari and mainly without Nintendo for reviving the whole video game industry back in the 80s. We owe a debt of gratitude as gamers to Nintendo and to the NES. And it's reasons that I've stated before as to why the NES is the greatest gaming system of all time. Let me know your thoughts on the NES in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe, tell all your friends I'm trying to get to a thousand. I assume I'm not going to be at a thousand by the time this video goes up, so please hit the subscribe button. If I hit a thousand subs, I get a cake made for me, and I really like cake, obviously. I really enjoy cake. So please hit that subscribe button. I'm producer guy Phil, and I'll see you later.